Hello everybody, it's Super Chicken at the Delta Blues Museum in the Muddy Shack. <laughs> One of my favorite people. Back in 1957, I saw this man sitting on my grandpa's front porch playing guitar. But now let me back up and tell you an another story before I get into this story. I was talking about Muddy Water one day and there was a know-it-all here from Europe. He told me I had never seen Muddy Water before. I said, why would you say that? He said, because Muddy Water left here in 1949 and hadn't been back since. So I said, well, I guess you was with him every day of his life. I said, but back in those days, people like Muddy Water, John Lee Hooker, Jimmy Reed, and a whole bunch of more you can name, they had ties here in Mississippi, but they had to come back. For instance, my grandpa was uh, Ellis Johnson, first cousin to Robert Johnson, and he worked on the Underground Railroad. He was a, a full-pledged Mason, and he would deputize people like Mr. Muddy and all of them to help him work the Underground Railroad, which was stealing people off the farm in the middle of the night. And he used all well-known musicians and he, because he called them permanent men and they had names that people would recognize if you went to the house in the middle of the night and say, Brother Johnson sent me, who are you? He said, my name is uh, Muddy Water. He said, okay, I'm ready to go. Uh, my name is Jimmy Reed, they're okay, ready to go. But if you say James Johnson, I don't know nothing about you. I'm not going nowhere with you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to tell you another little story. We were sitting on the front porch one day and Mr. Muddy Water was there and a few other musicians. And here come this loud running car pull up in the yard, making a bunch of noise and dust, blah, 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 blah. And uh, when the dust settled, out stepped Mr. Jimmy Reed. <laughs> ah, he said, I've been drinking that float, that moonshine all day. I want me some seal whiskey. And he got to talking and going on, making so much noise around that, so Mr. Muddy Water told him, he said, shut up, Jimmy, making all that noise. He said, you ain't nobody about man. You know, he talked about him pretty bad then. And the Muddy looked at his car and he said, Jimmy. He said, that's a nice little old power glide Chevrolet you got there. He said, you ought to let me drive it sometime. Man, that thing take me everywhere I want to go, fast as I want to go anytime I get ready to go. He said, don't you want to ride in a real car? What do you mean a real car? He said, come on, let me show you a real car. Mr. Muddy Water had a big old Cadillac sitting over there. And Mr. Jimmy Reed walked up and looked at that Cadillac. He said, that's what you call a real car? He said, I'm going to be riding in one of them soon enough. He said, no, nah, I don't want to ride in that damn thing. <laughs> but these guys had a lot of fun sitting around what we call a front porch party. They, we would call it a front porch party to cover up the meeting so boss man wouldn't know what was happening while everybody was making their plans and getting their, their assignments to who to go and where to go. And so, and that was, this was 1957 down in Reno, Laura, Mississippi. And uh, I was only seven years old. I was born in uh, 51. And this guy told me I had never seen Muddy Water, and I know I did see Mr. Muddy Water. And there was uh, Dr. Glover Taylor lived up on the highway. We lived back down in the field. He was the hoodoo man. And I used to go up and clean up for him sometime. But somebody had done something, uh, uh, Dr. Taylor had done something to make a certain person mad. And uh, so this person came to see Dr. Taylor and he, was, uh, he knew some mojo too, so he put some mojo on Dr. Taylor and had him sitting there looking crazy. And this, that particular day I was there, Mr. Muddy Water came up, knocked on the door and uh, he said, where well, Brother Taylor? I said, he in, in there, but I don't think he's feeling too good today. So he walks in, and I was still out on the porch, and I heard him say, good God Almighty, somebody done hoodoo the hoodoo man. And later on, he wrote a song about it. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Super Chicken here at the Delta Blues Museum, sitting right here with Mr. Muddy Water himself in his log cabin shack. We got so much history here, so much things to do, see, and talk about. Y'all just come on down to the Delta Blues Museum and have yourself a good time. You'll be back in time and won't even know how far back you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. They call me Super Chicken. Thank you very much.